Hey, it's KB, and I love movies. Today's conversation, <laughs> it's a funny one. I was able to spend some time with Dave from Durant Cinema. You know him if you've been following Bluetubers for a while. He's been a presence in the community for, I would say, five, six years solid now. His Blu-ray hunts on Tuesdays are classically funny. And he's an overall great guy, so I was able to spend some time, and we had more than a couple of laughs recording this, so I hope you enjoy. Stick around and stay tuned. So, joining me today on the conversation, we have a quote-unquote OG in the Blue Tuba community. He's a member of the Steelbook crew, a youth soccer coach, which I was surprised to find out, a family guy, but not in the Peter Griffin sense, and most importantly to us, he is a movie lover, especially of Chucky, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and bad shark movies. We have Dave from Durant Cinema. Hey, what's going on? What's happening, y'all? How, how's everyone doing out there? I'm doing great so far today. Excellent. Awesome. Um, we're doing awesome. Thank you for having me on here. Thanks for coming on. Um, no I keep talking about this list of people, but <laughs> um, you, you and Sue... I don't know which one led me to which one, but I yeah. definitely, when I was coming up with this concept, I'm like, those are two movie lovers that I definitely want to sit oh, down wow. and have a chat with. So, <laughs> I'm, dude, you have to realize, especially um, by the time I get to your video, it's usually later in the evening. So I've seen everyone do their little Best Buy runs, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, it gets a little repetitive. Oh, there's Durant Cinema. Okay, something good is coming. So even <laughs> if you get the exact same thing everybody yeah. else got, I'm guaranteed it's going to be a good video. So props <laughs> to you. Uh, props thank to you, man. You. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because that, yeah. that, that, that's the thing. That's the one thing about uh, my videos is that, like, I don't know. I, I like, it, you know, obviously it's, it's dealing with movies and everything, but I like mm -hmm. to, I don't know, just spice it up a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I, I like to tell a story. Uh, yeah, throughout yeah. my journey, you know, there, yeah. like the, the destination and going this way, like, I don't know, just to switch it up a little bit, you know. And have I'm fun gonna, with it. Yeah. Have fun with that. I like that. Exactly. You know, that that's the most important part because, you know, just doing my channel with like movie reviews and everything, I felt contained. You know, mm. I felt very contained. I fell in my seat. I fell in a box. But like with doing <laughs> these hunting videos, I'm, I'm exploring like store to store, interacting with different people kinds of people, different yeah. physical media. So it's always something out there. So That's I, cool. I love it. That's cool. But thank you, well, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no doubt. Um, before we get into the movie stuff, I always like to ask a non-movie question. And this is sort of related if anyone has seen your videos before. It's a trivia question now, so I'm just going to get it out the way. Your oh. expression, hot chicken nuggets. Yeah. Dipped in barbecue sauce. That's right. Where did you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't come up with that? <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, when did you start doing it? And like, how how was the response when you first oh did? Because, um, honestly, I just uh, it. All right, starting off with YouTube, I uh, a YouTuber used to like catch on to like certain things I used to say, like freaking mm -hmm. awesome. That was. The original uh, hot chicken nuggets because I used yeah, to yeah. always say that with my reviews, and then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this random ass thing. Mm -hmm. I, it started off with hot freaking chicken nuggets, and then that was <laughs> it. Like dipped in honey mustard, barbecue, uh, ketchup. <laughs> I named all sorts of stuff. Just kept going. <laughs> yeah, and like I did it once, and I was just like, all right, let me try it again, and uh, mm -hmm. let me just see if it catches, and. It, Weirdly enough, it did somehow. And honestly, I'm so surprised on like when it all started, the origin of it, because I'll yeah. legit just go back and watch my old videos just to make fun of myself. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, I, I would literally go back four years ago and I also I'll just be like, hot chicken nuggets, guys, look at this. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> hot <diggity> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was even I was even saying it back then. I was like, I, c I yeah. can't believe how long it's been going on, honestly. So, but and, hey, and of course <laughs> the the Nug Life medallion. Yes, it is just been catching <laughs> on. Uh, yeah, uh, people send me the Nug Life chain. That's for like a Christmas ornament, making it into a necklace. 
Mm -hmm. uh, people making me shirts uh, with Nug Life, like stuff like that. Even, even anyone that tags me in anything chicken, nut re uh, chicken nugget related, like mm -hmm. someone tagged me on Facebook. Uh, it was like a chicken nugget yoga. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was a little video of people literally doing yoga while eating chicken nuggets. And they're like, Dave, this is for you. <laughs> anyone ever ask you what your favorite type is? Oh, uh, yes, yes. I think we, um, my, my favorite right now would honestly mm -hmm. would be in the supermarket <laughs> chicken oh. nuggets, but at a restaurant, a fast food place, Wendy's, mm -hmm. Wendy's all the way. Yeah. Wendy's. I eat, yeah. I can eat I like this. Yeah. Good. Like all this. right. Let's get into the movie stuff. Um, you kind of hinted at it, but like, what do you credit to your YouTube success besides time? I mean, over time, if you're consistent, you build up subscribers and followers and so forth. But what do you personally credit to the success you've had? Oh, uh, honestly, I would probably at the, it's a mixture of, um, the first thing I th uh, that came to my mind is editing. Like just, yeah, I, I, I get into it, man. It's like, I don't know. Once I get the footage, I just know I love it. It's like a love hate relationship. I love doing it. I love finding the. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> it's I, just I hear like you. it's just it's so much fun at the beginning. Mm -hmm. like, yes, this piece works. I like this piece. Blah 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 blah. And then like gets to the end. I'm like, I spent two hours already on this, uh, yeah. but I gotta keep going. Throw these effects in there, and whatnot. And like honestly, I just think like if people see the more effort you put into something, they gravitate to that. And like, you know, as they always see, easy come, easy go, you know, people can yeah. upload anything, but like, I don't know if you make it your own and spiced up and also just like, I don't know, I, I treat it as like, Hey, it's, it's a, something you go on and it's a show and like, you, you just try to, you know, just be mm -hmm. entertained along the way. And that that's what I try to do. Like, <laughs> yeah, you do a good job because like I said, you could watch the same thing pretty much like four or five times if you look at a blue blu-ray hunt on a tuesday and you're like what's going to make it different for me to yes. watch this fifth one mm -hmm. or it, you know it's been hours why am i going to watch this guy's one later in the day or whatever the yeah. case may be and i i i was right there uh at, when i first started my videos i i get it because it's like you have a routine you have a habit and you and you want to stick with it and I used to do that. I used to drive out of my driveway, be like, what's up, guys? We're going to go here, here, here. And mm -hmm. by, you know, I, would, I would throw in like different things in, uh, in between. But I always, always is a start. Now I'm thinking, all right, I did. I started here. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to go this place. I'm going to start it this way. I'm going to have my camera over here. Like right. always try to like mix it up. Uh, the costumes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the I costumes. Hear you. Not everyone, not all the blue tubers are walking around with a Chucky or a costume. No, no, no one's walking around with a Chucky doll like their child, uh, it, like a toddler. <laughs> I should have had a baby stroller. Oh, that, that would next be, time. Next time. Yes. Next time. That's what I'm gonna maybe, do. Maybe when season two of Chucky comes out or whatever. You <laughs> yeah, got. that's brilliant. I gotta yeah, do just that. Throw them in a stroller. I gotta remember that. <laughs> so how many years has it been? Like just Roughly oh, since you started, uh, actually, I think consistently, uh, uh, like the YouTube channel is started like seven or eight years ago. Yeah, that's what seven, I figured. Yeah, seven to eight years ago, but with like full on Blu ray hunting videos. Mm -hmm. ooh, uh, actually, I'm not too sure on that. Uh, maybe six. Maybe, have I did six? Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's where it all loses me because I used to do both movie reviews and then Blu ray hunts. Yeah. More. and uh i don't know where it took off honestly i i think it just got to the point where i was just like you know i'm having more fun uh i love making these videos and also just helps that like more people seem to enjoy them as well so it's just mm -hmm. like all right and i like collecting these movies like it's not that's the thing it's like it's not fake where i'm just like ah like, all right yeah. i gotta go out there and, and get this movie uh sometimes you know like it's a movie that I don't personally like of but that's steel mm -hmm. book that it that's real <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that we'll talk about that but you're not like just buying for content or whatever no like no like there'll be something like oh that's a cool slipcover but like mm -hmm. as far as like oh everyone loves this movie so 
I got to get it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all about the steelbook design. I love yeah. artwork and everything. That's what gets me drawn yeah. into it. Uh, and, uh, I do get passionate. Sure, there'll be like a couple movies where I'm just like, did I need that one? I don't know. But like, Probably I'm not, not dreading it. Yeah, it's like in the heat of the moment. Or I'm just like, all right, so I got this, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it it depends, but no, it's it's all real. I I love it. I enjoy it, and uh, I'm so glad I took that direction into my yeah. YouTube career. Yeah. What was the scene like? You know, especially for like Bluetooth or probably even DVD content back then. Oh, uh, it was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, for physical, but uh, back then for YouTubers. It was like, you know, uh, what movie won, who will do there and stuff like that. They were mm-hmm. doing their thing. And I remember it all started with uh, the flick pick with his uh, Blu-ray hunts and everything. That's what I, I loved. I used to watch all those all the time. And then I was like, you know what? I, I that's interesting. I just remember the first hunt that I did. I felt so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. awkward. <laughs> uh, it was like embarrassing just to try and hold up my hand, like to mm-hmm. record myself. Now yeah. I'm screaming uh, in people's ears. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to Sue a few weeks ago. I said, I watched one of your earlier videos and you sound like you were like covert, undercover, like whispering in the corner by the yes. stocking boy or whatever. It was mm-hmm. like, it's it's different once you get comfortable and it's oh, more yeah. of a routine, like secondhand. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, that was just, it's, it was, it was fun. Like it, it still is fun now. Like, Mm-hmm. You get new releases every week, uh, exclusives and stuff like that. Obviously, there was more to roam around in at different uh, stores, but yeah. overall, it's still it's uh, it's been good. Uh, I I oh no, I won't say less cringy <laughs> than I was before back in the day. Uh, I would I would literally just go back and make fun of myself. Uh, yeah, I love it. It it's it's fun. So. Um. When did you actually seriously start collecting? Was it like during that time before then, maybe even? Oh, uh, it was, I remember it was one Christmas and I remember like the, the rave for Blu-rays and everything was coming out and um, I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. But then I got some for Christmas that year. Yeah. I was like, okay, sweet. So I, I started with that and then I, I gradually started, you know, my collection was, it's not what it was now. <laughs> That's no, I no, say. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, that, I blame that on YouTube and, and mm-hmm. all years. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yes, it's our uh, fault. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my goddamn wallet and I hate and I love it. But uh, mm-hmm. no, I just, I got in the movies. I, I would collect the Blu-rays. I didn't care if I had a slipcover nor a steelbook. I don't, I didn't care. I didn't know what that was back in the day. And right. I just, I remember it was, there was a, uh, a Lucy Steelbook. And I just looked at it and I go, what the hell is this? I'm like, are people going to collect this? I'm like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's do that. And, and here uh, you are. Yeah. And here I am. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. But uh, yeah, I did have a collection before this, but it wasn't as heavy uh, before. I would actually, I would go out certain Tuesdays, buy the movie, go home and watch it that night. <laughs> Now it takes me like a month or two uh, <laughs> when I got time. And I'm like, all right, yeah. I can kick back and, and, and watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Any idea how many steel books you have now? Oh, uh, good question. I think the last time I did a collection video was like 534 or something like that. Ooh. So, yeah, since it's actually been a year and people already have like, Dave, hey, where's your collection video? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, people God like damn it, man. Yeah, people like, like updates. I'm like, I almost died last time. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, steel books collapsing on top. Oh of my you. god, it was it, that was the hottest day. It was during the summer. Yeah, legit in August. I was filming. It was early in the morning. I'm like, I gotta get this done. This is the only time I'm gonna do it. Do it. So I'm rambling on. Just imagine saying even the title of each movie for uh, for 534 of them, like in a row. No. And trying to have fun and describe them and everything. I had the sweatiest goddamn armpits, but <laughs> it was worth it. I got through it though. But uh, as and that was a year ago, so ooh, I don't know. Maybe I hope maybe in the six hundred thirty. Mm-hmm. That, that's my guess. That's my guess. Yeah, I would have to do it like documentary style, just like go down and just like pan and show all yeah. the titles. 
Yes. Like, I, I'm not going through all of these. <laughs> You're going to have to guess. <laughs> yeah, guess. Exactly. One of the things I like, uh, from watching your videos, especially your hunts, is that for the most part, you're not alone. So um, how did the Steelbook crew form and come together? Oh, God. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I got to mention them for a little while. Dude, I try, about I try to go alone, and they just <laughs> fucking leech on, and they grab onto my shoulders. I'm like, get, get off of me. But then I feel bad, <laughs> and then I let them in. <laughs> you're a good man. You're a good Thank man. Thank you. And, uh, Whew, man, that, yeah, it's so funny because I never knew people collected movies in Massachusetts until mm -hmm. like one day Pat reached out and he was like, hey, uh, I saw you at that Best Buy. And so we started talking and then another one, Andrew, randomly messaged yeah. me. He's like, dude, you missed the Indiana Jones still book. Uh, <laughs> I got it for you. So that's how we met up. And and Tony wow. with the, the beatups and everything with Susan. And all of a sudden, it's just like we, we started separately and then gradually got together. And mm -hmm. then they've been doing really well with their channels. And again, that motivation it, to, to keep hunting more. And so they're just like, all right, let's go hunting each Tuesday. But uh, sometimes, you know, <laughs> they may take the goddamn last copy. And then it's got to go time. down. Oh, yeah. Fighting, Fighting time. time. Exactly. Time to move some furniture. Yeah, there, there'll be uh, pre-ordering <laughs> stuff. I don't pre-order, and they get the first jump and the last laugh. Oh, yeah, man. No, you, they're, they're lots of fun. You guys yeah. were fun watching you on Huck's Trivia Night uh, oh, last week. You. Yeah. <laughs> and I was telling Susan that I said, you know, one of my Blu-ray hunts has to be me coming up there. And it has to be a slow week so we could like go to Bull Moose because that's that's like Mecca for me. I gotta oh. I gotta make the trip at least once in my life. <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah, that's on my list for things to do. <laughs> yes, Massachusetts. Once in my uh, life. Yeah. yeah, Bull Moose with the Steelbook crew. Yep. Make my dreams come true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that I would think be that amazing, would be. man. I would honestly be down for that. Oh, you're yeah. always welcome, especially for Bull Moose. It is the best place. Oh my gosh! Media. It's I so could good. just imagine. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to come there with some racks in my pocket for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You walk in, you just faint. You're like, you're like, uh... <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, your, your tongue hits the ground. You jewel jump. coming yeah. off the corner. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, another interesting observation, and this happens a couple of times. Like, I'll be watching a video that you did with the Steelbook crew on your channel. And then I'll watch, let's say, Tony's. And it's the same day and it's around the same time. And it's like two different styles of Dave. It's like, I mean, yes. we know what to expect for you. We get the, the energy level and all that. And then when Tony's doing it, you're like back in the cut. You're like just one of the guys. And oh, I, yeah. I, I call like that persona, it's like you go in Arnold. <laughs> so are you aware of like turning on and off do you guys just film separately how do you do it oh uh it, it is interesting because it's true because uh i i, you know, I kind of see it with people too when they do different mm -hmm. videos it's just like i feel like it's a it's a human thing like when you're controlling the camera you know how everything's all gonna be like you get the edit right. everything you say it like it's just you know i've been doing it for so long that like you know, it's just like in the back of my hand. It's just like, all right, what's going on, guys? I, I just, I just feel it when I hold that camera. You know, I got, mm -hmm. I got control. But also, like when they shoot, I don't want to like, be like, hey, hey, look at me, yeah. look at me. The you attention know, grabber. Is, exactly. It's their show. I just, I, I, you know, I'll put, I'll be in the background and like, I mm -hmm. feel like I'm a terrible side person. <laughs> like I came to a conclusion. I'll be watching. I'm like, I, I'm a terrible. <laughs> like guest person on these no, videos. You, you got to be you, man. You, <laughs> you got to be you, but I, I understand you you want yeah. them to be the personality in the video, not oh, just yes. not just you. So also, I can imagine that's kind of hard at times just to hold back from just being yourself. Yeah. And it, it, it like I'll, I'll be honest with you, like I I get tired. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sometimes when I'm shooting, like I I'm just like rambling like going things through my head. Sometimes they'll like I'll watch stuff and they'll say something 
and I completely miss it because I'm already thinking about the next thing that I'm going mm-hmm. to be saying. So I'm just all in the zone. And then when I get everything, it's like, okay, their turn. And like, they, they'll start filming and I'm yeah. like, all right, I'm already like kind of wiped out, but uh, it's just <laughs> like, but they film me and it's on me. There's like no cuts or, or moving around. So it's yeah. just like, I got to keep like saying stupid things <laughs> to be like, slightly entertaining uh, or like, some sort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly like what i'm doing i'm just like yeah yeah this this i can cut it all out because like i mm. i sound i you know i can't speak or whatever <laughs> that's why i got all those those freaking edits or whatnot but no it is funny about me is that like when i do these videos i'm like mm-hmm. all right i gotta drink my energy drink and uh then i'll go out I, you know this is after work too i i, I get out like three from like six thirty to three so i i'll go right wow. there to to work and then just try to be energized and I do all this and I have a lot of fun, but then mm-hmm. like I'll go home in my boxers, just like <laughs> just, and just yeah, just, yeah. Uh. yeah. I, I zone out. Like sometimes I, I have a video to edit and I'm like, should I start editing this? Yeah. And you know, somebody here will say, We'll start and then stop and go do something else. I was like, You don't understand. No. <laughs> it's like once I start, yes, <laughs> it's a thing. Yep. It's going to keep going till you know, I <laughs> die of hunger or it's done Dude, or I'm, I just need to walk away <laughs> sometimes. I'm, I'm the same way. Even when in school, when I was in college, they're like, oh, I'll work on this. Like I, I rushed. That was my problem. I had no patience for anything, even mm-hmm. like drawing. Like I wanted to get that final, the cross that line, to be in the finish yeah. line and like just get it done. Like that's how I always was. I can't just be like, okay, it looks good for now. And, no, I'll, yeah. I'll take a few days and go back to it. I'm Do like, a little no. now. No. Yeah, yeah. No. no, I'm. I'm like, I have to get this done. I'm. I'm here. I'm already sitting down. I got to get it done. Otherwise, people would be like, "Dude, who's that video?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I, I, I pass this point where it's like you've come so far. Just bang it out, bang it out, finish it up. Because I'm the same way. It's like if I don't start editing something, it'll be like. Two weeks later, like, oh, um, yeah, got about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it's a matter of going back to it. So. Yeah, yeah, because I know, like, people hang on to, like, certain videos or whatnot or recorded something and back in the mm-hmm. day. I'm just like, if I record something, I, I'm so eager, like, if it's, like, a special intro or something that I got to do, like, and I record it, like, I want to get right on it and just, right. like, start editing. But, uh. But there'll be days where I'm like, no, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll but once I do do it, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I got to get it done. So I mentioned that I call your persona Arnold. So we got to talk a little Arnold here for a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you, I, I counted, I have three of them personally. So how many do, copies of Terminator 2 do you think you have? And do you have a favorite? Oh, man. Already alone. I'm looking at my shelf. I already have yeah. two displayed. <laughs> I see a third one. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure you have the arm and the skull and actually, all that stuff. It's funny. I don't have uh, I don't have the arm or nor the skull. To be honest really? with you, yeah. Somebody's yeah. going to send. I it know to it, it is kind of it is kind of <laughs> weird. I don't know. Maybe I just I saw the price for like one of them. I was just like, eh, all right, yeah. I can hold off for now. But uh, but steel books, it would be like the same price. I'm like, yep, okay, yeah, <laughs> in the cart. Uh, but as far as how many copies goes, that's a good question. I actually have mm-hmm. not, but I'll probably say at this point that with the way that cranking out with the 3D and the 4Ks, maybe eight, nine. Wow. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> and sometimes I like, uh, dude, there was one point, all right, in my life, I went on eBay, I was ordering Arnold movies left and right, and I was just like, I am going, my whole purpose in life right now is to buy as many Arnold movies as possible. Buy them all. <laughs> wow. And um, uh, I'm so glad I didn't uh, pursue that uh, as well. <laughs> so, yeah, because that would have been a lot of money. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it would have yeah. been a goddamn great collection right there. It sure would have. <laughs> it sure would have. I might have to go back to it. <laughs> hey, you got to uh, take inventory of what you have first yeah. because, uh, you know. Oh, because... Uh, that- it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. Because they pumped out like I want to say three or two 
4K Steelbooks at Best Buy last yeah. year or something like that. And then they had that 3D 4K and then like all yeah. sorts of Blu-rays and, and special things. And, and all that's before years. you go international. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I look online, uh, anything lenticular or Steelbook, I'm, I'm owning that for yeah. sure. So. I think the last time I counted, there are like 22 Blu-rays in the U.S. alone. Oh, so. yeah. Who knows worldwide how many there are? Yeah, and it's all right here, <laughs> like, yeah. right there, all right next to me. <laughs> For the longest time, my favorite edition was the DVD that had all three versions on it, and it, it was the one that came with the metal slipcase yes, that could like I, shank a fool because <laughs> yes. it was so sharp. <laughs> Yeah, people I, use that WWE. Oh my god, yeah. he's got the he's got the Terminator he's got the steel case. DVD. <laughs> yeah, damn. That was a real steel book. Yeah. Or steel case as the case may be. That's right. But yeah, it had like the sharpest edges. And then of course the 4K came out. I got excited. And that was what it is. And yeah, I've I've yeah. heard about it. I don't I don't think I've seen it in 4K, but I was just like it's got Arnold's beautiful face. I'm buying it no matter what. <laughs> I didn't I even actually, care. I actually went back and got a new Blu-ray just because I was so disappointed. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> All right. Scenario time for you. Oh. Okay. You have to eliminate one. There's no backseas. Okay. Everything you have associated with either Chucky or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dolls, collectibles, Ooh, everything. Ooh. Who uh, gets why, the chop? Why'd you have to add in the dolls, man? Okay, those things <laughs> are goddamn expensive. Funkos, everything. The goddamn the expensive. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh, but then again, all my steel books are probably yeah, expensive. yeah, it's expensive. Ooh, um, I, it, this it was, was the a, first question I ever came up for you. By the way. <laughs> This was the first one. I was like, this is a good scenario to ask him. <laughs> I'm just picturing you sitting down mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. You got your pencil. Like, what should I yeah. ask him? Chucky or Arnold? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the way it happened. I love it. Exactly. I love it. Oh, man. It would have been an easy pick. But you you, you put in the dolls, which mm -hmm. made it really tough. Um, yep. But if I had picked them, I would have to go get the chopping block. Is Chucky. Mm -hmm. Is Chucky. Oh. Chucky's got to get the chopping block. Arnold is just, he's been a bigger and a positive influencer in my life. So, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> Chucky scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> it is it, it's so funny about Chucky is that I was on a live stream like a couple years ago. This is before I was into like horror really big. I was like, I am never going to own a Chucky doll. That thing freaked the shit out of me. And then here I am with two of them right in front of me. <laughs> yeah. And one of the scariest ones available, too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, I, and, yeah. Talk. and yeah, here I am bringing them to the stores. Like, I want another one. <laughs> it's going to be bringing them in the stroller next yeah, thing you know. <laughs> exactly. But I it just, Arnold was, he's too big of uh, uh, impact in my life to just get rid of. So I, I definitely you. have to, I got to keep all my, it, I got a goddamn Arnold shrine over here. Okay. <laughs> I would and ask I, you to pan, but I see the corner of it, oh, so yeah. I believe I'll, you. I'll, 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 I'll get a little demonstration. There's the movies right there. I got my NECA figures. And then, yeah, just a bunch of other stuff right there. Wow. There yeah. I, I bow down and, and worship it every day. And you probably know how to spell his name correctly. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Great time to cut. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, Michelangelo said. It's like easy as spelling or Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got one more question to ask you before we do the five takes, yeah. and this one is just because every time I think about it, I just either internally or bust out laughing. Did you ever get the Jurassic Three Smirno stain out of your carpet? <laughs> What you don't know about that? <laughs> you don't know about that Jurassic Park three commentary, okay, dude? I, I, I don't even know what to say for myself. <laughs> I sat through you doing that watch along twice, and 
and getting ready to watch it a third time because somebody else came in the room. You were drunk off your behind. <laughs> Anybody that will watch Jurassic Park three three times in a row, yeah. it's not sane, <laughs> not n- not uh, just like not sober. Oh my god, I I was so determined was to watch that. Thing. I want to oh watch god, it, it so. so funny. I've, I was feeling so good. I was yeah. like, oh yeah, let's watch it again. <laughs> and and he just kept saying, Alan. <laughs> Alan. Uh, yeah, that's right. My middle name. <laughs> Alan. Yeah, I, uh, oh, man. I, I got it, It's so funny. I got to tell you real quick about that. It's so, mm-hmm. I, you know, obviously I was drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my story. No. Um, afterwards, you know, I went to bed. All right. I had to work at uh, 630 in the morning or so. Oof. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. I had the puke. Like, I hate puking. <laughs> oh. But it felt so good because it just went up. Like yeah. I didn't have to force it. I didn't have to eh. like yeah. it just did its thing. You know, oh, I was oh. laying on the kitchen floor and it was four <laughs> o'clock. I'm like, why did I agree to work today? The kitchen floor is always so nice and cool. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and let me tell you, like I went to work, I worked, and I felt good at the break, but all I could smell was the puke <laughs> on my sweatshirt. And I'm just like, that makes me want to puke even more. <laughs> Uh, oh my god but then later on i went to uh foxwoods and gambled <laughs> so hey yeah, there's that <laughs> went in rome but that was and a I, fun time though that was that was a blast what was it like smeared off vanilla oh uh, it was the caramel kiss caramel, caramel. yeah delicious yeah. you gotta try it man add some sprite with that thing it was, may sound disgusting but no. it's really good it is really I, good i was gonna bring one here just to hold up in you know, in respect of what you went through that night or put yourself through it, if we're yeah, going to be honest. It, it's so funny. I'm like, oh, yeah, you watch that? Well, I'm like, hey, guys, check out the Trash Park 3 commentary, <laughs> like in each video. <laughs> but it, it was funny. It was funny. And I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, man. Good time. Good time. That was fun. So you ready to do the five? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's All go. Right. I'm scared. No, I think you'll make it. I think you'll make it. (laughs) All right. Number one, name the film that made you fall in love with the movies. uh, What what I was thinking about this one, it was it was a little tricky because honestly, I wasn't really a movie that was Mm -hmm. like that's it, that's it right there. Um, Because you know, growing up, I was always into all these movies, found them entertaining. But if I had to go with a certain thing. I would probably have to say like Terminator 2 because not only is it like the greatest action movie of all time, it's right. also just Arnold alone. I know, I know we like, you know, I mentioned it back before, but Arnold was a big part in my life because like growing up, it was, he was big with my family. Like if, if people think I was a huge fan, my sister has the first Terminator uh, of Arnold on her tattoo on her arm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, so she had like a whole collection herself and everything. So, and, uh, but yeah, it was big. We used to watch them all the time and just simply Terminator 2 is a classic, uh, with the practical sure. effects, the special effects, uh, CGI, like just both blended together to be mm-hmm. such an iconic movie that I still watch today and just am amazed that it was yeah. done and seeing all these other movies being made that they don't even compare. Uh, to what it was made back in the day. Like, it, it's, it's true. insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, um, it's amazing. We're talking, like, what, almost 30 years? And yeah. there's, there's movies that have been made in that time with practical effects and yeah. just with CGI, and they don't compare. It's it's just lazy, and it's just, like, that's a movie that was well-crafted, uh, taken care of, and well, well-produced. And uh, it was... Yeah. It was mind blowing, and it and that's the thing. It's like if you just if you just do it right, it, it will last the eternity. You know, yeah. Like people will appreciate it for a time. Um, yeah, but, I mean, we all we all make jokes and get upset with James Cameron and how long he's taken yeah. to bring out our favorite four K movies and Avatar yeah. sixty two and so forth. <laughs> but you got to put it to the man when he when he sits down to make a movie, he knows how to make a movie. Yes, right. So, James Cameron. Let's go. Number two, <laughs> besides Terminator 2, 
Name five of your favorite films. Oh, okay. All right. I do have Terminator 2 in there, but mm -hmm. it is tied. It is tied with another movie. So uh, my favorite movie of all time is Predator. The right. The three, all you have to do is drop a tree of the predator's head. Come on, get over here. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so good. So good. It is. Uh, it is. Number, number two, I would go with Terminator. That was tied with T2, but mm -hmm. they both tied in my book. I love Terminator 2. I think it's a better movie, but I find Terminator 1 to be more rewatchable. In my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, it, but I, it, just, it grew up there, and I'm just like, they're both tied. And then three, I loved Gravity. Gravity is my third oh. favorite movie. I, I saw an IMAX, and Me it's too. just, it's one of those movies, I, I'll, I'll admit it here, I, I sat down and I almost cried three times <laughs> mm. throughout the movie. And it's just, I loved, I was just stunned by, I thought it was just going to be like, oh, two celebrities in space. But right. it was more than that. It was emotional, and I loved uh, the music and, and everything, it's just ah, it's so good. Oh, yeah, that so score good. is amazing. And oh, oh. I still I get know. chills listening to it. <laughs> I remember when I first saw it, it was um, Dead of Winter because it was around that time it came out. And I swear to God that what they did was they turned on the air conditioning. So when it felt like you were supposed to be like dead in space and you know, cold, vast space. I yeah. was feeling cold and I could probably figure out the, the three times that you actually got emotional in that movie. But yeah, I saw it in IMAX 3d, which oh, was yeah. just amazing. Amazing. So good. <laughs> number so four. Good. And uh, let's see. Number four. I, it's so funny. Whenever I make this list, I always have four, but I don't get the mm -hmm. that fifth one for some reason. Uh, yeah. Number four would probably be the fighter with Marky Mark. It's just I haven't seen that in so long. Yeah, it that's another movie where I watched it. I actually didn't care for it the first time mm -hmm. I watched it. I was just like, oh, it seems kind of like a little trashy, <laughs> like for a boxing movie. <laughs> but then, like, I just loved it the second time that I watched it. I was just like, I love this goddamn movie. Yeah, and uh, I I could watch that one all the time. I had to put a Marky Mark on there. So is that uh, a Tony thing? I, I suppose so. Yeah, <laughs> he's my he's my go to for sure. He's he's up there for my favorite celebrities. I hear you. And, How's your mother? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys want to go to Wahlburgers right now? Let's do it. <laughs> and, and number five, ooh, uh, I honestly really thought about it. I could either put freaking Happy Gilmore or Shrek on there. <laughs> <laughs> Those honestly, are two good choices. Happy Gilmore Shrek. I always love a good old uh, comedy as I hear well, you. you know. And those are two classics in my book. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll throw uh, you know Shrek because Shrek is love. Shrek is mm -hmm. life. Okay. It's a nice Were you comedy. surprised to find out that it was supposed to be Chris Farley doing yes. that role? Yeah, I I remember. I forget where I saw that uh, at one point. I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then all of a yeah. sudden, yeah, it was enough. Trivia thing. I was like, ah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, pretty cool. Andy, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Third question. Name a classic movie that everybody loves, but you can't stand. Ah, uh, that's pretty much everything. <laughs> 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 no, I, um, I'm a, I'm a, let's see. All right. I got three because I don't Ooh, want the people okay. to hate. I don't want people to hate me. So I'll throw out some. It's an opinion. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's true. Some I know. Oh, uh, but still, they, they, they got the they got the pitchforks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> always, don't, don't always. Uh, the number one is Forrest Gump. I, I just I've never okay. been a big Forrest Gump person. And the funny thing about that is that I, I said that in a live stream with Andrew, and he's like, "Didn't you pick that up on 4K with the Steelbook?" I was like, "Oh, I don't recall." And then Probably. he literally went on my YouTube channel, picked out the goddamn screenshot. Oh my I mean, god! I was like, "Oh." Oh, oh, I'm like, all right, I probably did pick it up, but in the store. <laughs> He's like, no, it's in your car. I was like, what? <laughs> and I saw it. I was like, oh, my God. I, you got to love friends. Slow, I was like, it must have been a slow <laughs> week. <laughs> and then uh, the other one, I do have a, a still book up, but I, I feel like I have to rewatch this one. It's Inception. It, 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 it hmm. wasn't 
it was a mind trip for sure. Yeah, like I, yeah. I, I will give that one a pass because I, I have to probably rewatch it. Yeah, I was just saying it's one of those movies that leave you with a conversation to have afterwards because it doesn't really put the bow on it to say, well, this is what really happened here. No, yeah. you're like, did all this really happen? So yeah. I can see how it can mess with you. And you're like, I don't like this. No, I was just trying to figure out what even happened. <laughs> and then, What's the uh, third one? Uh, the third one is uh, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I remember my my buddy. Dude. I uh, see <laughs> you're about to get your pitchfork. <laughs> Where's my pitchfork? <laughs> How can you? Is it is it the scene in the library? Is that what no did it to you? no? It was just I just don't remember much from it. I I, oh, I okay. my friend was like, dude, you gotta watch it. It's such a good movie, and I watched it. I'm sitting down. I'm like, when is this over? <laughs> I, so I, maybe it demands a rewatch. One, maybe I do need a rewatch. Yeah, because yeah. as you can tell, I'm a I'm a simple guy. I need I love my 90 minute movies. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm in and I'm out. Uh, that that's a, just the kind of person I am. All right, let's flip it. Name a critically hated movie that you absolutely love. All right, so yeah, screw Shawshank Redemption. We got Fifty <laughs> Shades of Grey, baby. I was waiting That's for good. you to bring yeah. that up. I was waiting for you to bring that no, up. No, no, no. I'm, I'm only joking. I, I legit had to put it on here just as a gag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, all right, the steel book was three bucks. Okay. I bought it. I don't I, I don't I fault you. Three dollars. I don't fault you. Three dollars. Three dollars is Dakota Johnson is worth three dollars. Exactly. Uh let's see. I it's funny. I, I was trying to think. Or uh, uh w- w- well, you talked about it. Uh, a movie that I try to watch three times, Jurassic Park three. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that movie. It's so Alan. good. <laughs> Alan, Alan. <laughs> Ooh, showing gotta, a little Jurassic gotta, love here. Oh, very nice. I like it. That's a nice hat. I I gotta do that again. I gotta bring out that bottle and just drink the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, come up with another movie. Yeah, and just have a bunch of people uh, join in to watch along. Because that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. That was a good time. It uh, it has a couple other ones. There's just really random ones. Like uh, recently, like Strangers Two and the new Texas Chainsaw. I kind of mm-hmm. I dug both. I like I dug both and the whole entire Resident Evil movies. I like. It was a guilty, goddamn play. Yeah, and finally, uh, who would you like to see me have a conversation with on this channel? Oh, uh, I was going through and I was thinking of someone, but it, it narrowed down to one person that I thought of. And I feel like he could use a nice little interview or something like that. And that is Andrew from uh, Commander Nerd. Commander Nerd. Commander Nerd. I feel like he would have a good time with this, you know? I think we'd have fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, cause I was thinking <laughs> like other channels, but I'm like, you know what? I feel like Andrew would enjoy something like this. Yeah, you know? I don't know how many people you know ask him for interviews or or movie questions or an interview. Or we know he like has that. opinions. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's got opinions. <laughs> all right. He's a character. I tell you. Yeah, I I, I picked that up. Um, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that right there and just let it hover. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you, Dave, for joining me for this conversation today. Man, it was worth the wait. I'll say yes. that it was worth the wait. <laughs> I that's true. I got I need a goddamn secretary or or something uh, <laughs> for, to reach out to people. Like if you honestly look at my messages, there are probably some that's like months I haven't gotten. Mm-hmm. To like it's just so hard. <laughs> you're a, you're a popular guy, as uh, they say in Ferris nuts. Bueller. You're a righteous dude. A righteous dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I but, appreciate uh, uh, it. Man. Man, thank, thank you. Uh, th- this was fun. This was a blast. I enjoyed yeah. my time. All right, man. Um, Thanks again. Thank you.